Hey guys, uh, I've got a collective nail varnish haul for you today. It's quite a big one, so it's going to be a long video. Um, but I know you guys like to watch these. Um, I tweeted about this, whether you guys wanted me to do this, and there was a huge reaction. So, um, yeah, everyone was looking forward to it. Um, so, I'm just going to show you what I got over the last sort of probably six weeks or so. Um, it's a couple of shops from a couple of different websites and from actual shops as well. And there's some. Um, like two of the bigger collections are out this season as well. So I'm just going to do it in kind of time scales for the stuff that I bought first. So um, my friend Rachel, Cupcakes and Scissors, she made a video on the new Essie collection and I loved it. And um, I'd seen pictures from Cosmo Prof and things, but she actually had them in her hand and they looked gorgeous. So I looked around online and um, Nail Supplies had them for $4 each. Um, I think they're still that price. Last time I said that they went up to $8, but I bought these a good month ago now, probably more, and um, they were $4 up until recently so I bought um, this is one of my favourites that she had and it was um, it's bobbing for baubles which is this really nice creamy grey uh, uh, blue sorry <laughs> I was going to say greyed out blue um, and it's a really really nice shade it's completely different to traditional blues I suppose you know like um, oh, I can't think of any now but you know like OPI ink or um, you've got to get this blue, all that kind of thing. So it's a bit, bit of a different shade and I really love it. I bought two of these because I bought one for me and one for my mum. I thought she'd really like it. Um, so I love that. Then the second one that I loved the most was um, School of Hard Rocks, which is this uh, gorgeous greyed out green again. I suppose these um, are kind of... I'm going to say greyed out for all of them because they are a bit like that. But um, I really love it. it, it it's an interesting shade and I really like it. I, I bought I thought it was gonna be similar to this one that I got um Fallen Leaf from Topshop but you can see it's um it's a different colour, it's more blue than it is green. So um I really like that. And then the two that I got um the the next two are quite similar. Uh I got Bangle Jangle which is a uh, lilac -y tone but it's a really nice lilac I don't always like lilac on my nails I only have two I have an OPI and another SC and I never really wear them because when I actually put it on I don't actually like it as much but I, I, I'm I drawn to this one I don't really know why but I like it and then I got the namesake from the collection and um, this is Cocktail Bling um, I really love this this is like a blue lilac um, I don't have anything like it at all but you know, when you look at them together, okay, in real life now, I can see that there's a difference. But I know on camera they're probably going to show up very similar. Um, so, in hindsight, I probably didn't need both. Um, but I do really like them. Then finally from that collection, and I got this because this was on a lot of the New York, New York Fashion Week catwalks. It's difficult to say. Um, this is called Broach the Subject and it's my perfect mannequin hand and I love it it's of all my nude kind of essies this is my favourite uh, it's just the right tone for my skin it's not too grey, not too yellow um, and it's I suppose got more pink in it which is why it suits me more so I really really love that um, then while I was looking at Essie I'm obsessed with cobalt, cobalt blue colour that really bright blue and so I um, decided to get Mesmerise, which I think is a bit of an Essie classic. Uh, I don't have anything like it really. Um, it's a it's a cream. It has no shimmer in it, and I, and I really love it. I think it looks great with like the rusts and stuff. So I've got a cardi and some tights with this um, colour in, um, and it looks really good. Yeah, with like the um, rusty tones that are around. Then um, this one's a little bit interesting. I decided to. My mum was trying to steal my flip flop fantasy, but I wasn't letting having it have it. So I decided to get um, her a new one. So I ordered one um, from Nail Supplies. Now this is my original, and then this is the one that I received from Nail Supplies. Now you can see that they're completely different. <laughs> Um, now I understand that you get different dye batches and things, but to me these are very different, and they do apply differently on the nail. Um, I like 
both either to be honest I prefer this colour and so does my mum which is why she hasn't taken this one but um, I don't know have you guys um, you know got either version which would you say yours is more like I don't really know if it's wrong if it's wrongly labelled or if it is just a different dye patch because I know that there was a pink in this collection the um, you know I can't remember what it was called but they were all like those neon colours was it poolside something like that anyway and I know that there was a pink so it's possible that it's just wrongly labelled I don't know but um, yeah they're quite different so that was the first lot then um, in between that and then the last final lot that came this week um, the magnetic polish sort of trend hit our shops and I really love this look um, I'm definitely more sold on it than the crackle glaze uh, although I did buy a few crackle glazes, I was never really fully committed to it, but I really like this look. And I was really waiting for the nail zinc ones to come out, but they were taking a bit longer, and Boots managed to get their 17 ones out first, and they were on three for two, so I got three of the colours. I think this is all three of the colours. Uh, and I got, not very imaginatively named, but there's green, um, blue, and lilac. And... I did try out, I think it was the green, and I, it's a few weeks ago, um, probably a month ago now, and I got annoyed with it, and I, I couldn't do it properly, and so I sort of like, I uh, don't want to, you know, didn't want to do it, so I put them to one side, and didn't look back, and then I got, um, the, um, nail zinc ones came out, um, and I got Houses of Par Parliament and Trafalgar Square, uh, Houses of Parliament is the purple, and Trafalgar Square is the grey and they're both really nice, I didn't like Big Ben which is the gold um, and if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about here um, these polishes have um, a magnetic um, element to the polish and you paint the um, polish on on your second coat you um, take the cap off well you take the cap off first, you use a cap which has a magnet in it and you hold the magnet on your nail like that and it lifts out a sort of wavy pattern and it has the most gorgeous sort of tiger's eye kind of effect um, and it looks really really good when you get it right um, I, it's not foolproof I have to say you have to put a bit of effort in, put sit down at a table give yourself some time um, because I've not managed to get it right on every nail yet I've only done it once I have to say I've, I've worn this one, um, Houses of Parliament I wore last weekend and when people started to notice what I had on my nail they were really interested in the look and, um, and I, they really liked it uh, but I haven't quite got the look right yet, but I really love it. I hope somebody brings out a like a nice bright red. That would be amazing um, with that. So that's those. Um, just a couple of slightly random ones. Um, I got this one from H&M, and I've spoken about H&M polishes before. I really like them. This is Envy Me, and it's a really bright green, uh, similar to uh, Butter London's British Racing Green but brighter I think this one um, is a bit prettier and I really love that then um, uh, I picked this one up uh, it's from Leighton Denny and I'm not a massive fan of his nail varnishes um, I don't like all this it comes with all this like, extra packaging I think it's a waste of money and a waste of time but sometimes he releases these very unique beautiful colours and this is one of them this is called Your Planet or Mine and it's kind of one of those oil slick colours uh, it looks like a blackened teal but if you turn it it looks purple um, or bronze or green you know it's really really gorgeous I haven't tried it yet but I, I'm excited to wear it I don't have really anything like it at all I can't think of anything I've got that has that same sort of effect um, and two tones going to be quite big Model Zone have got a huge collection coming out um, I think it's called the Beetlejuice collection and they're all like two-toned polishes, so that's going to be really big for um, like this winter, I suppose. So I'm excited to try that out. And then so I got that from John Lewis, and at the same time they had the Muppets collection out, which at the time I had already ordered um, the glitters online, which I'll show you in a minute. But I wasn't that interested in the shimmers, like I hadn't seen any swatches. They didn't look great online in the pictures, but when you see them in reality, they are something different they're really really nice and this one jumped out at me um it's called warm and fuzzy um i highly recommend this it's so pretty it's bronzed 
um, sort of gold glitter, I suppose. Well, I wouldn't say it was glitter, more like shimmer. But it is so shimmery um, and very, very pretty with a glossy top coat on. It looks gorgeous. Um, so I'm very glad, glad I got it. Um, and I love the name. Warm and Fozzy is so cute. So I got that. Then my um, order from Beverly Beauty came this week. And I did tweet um, that I'd received my glitters. So some of you guys will already know that. But I will show you those in a second. I got some others in my order as well. And one that I've been looking at for ages and ages, because I really wanted like a pearlescent, almost white, creamy shade. Um, and so I got this one from Jessica. It's called pret a -Porter, And it has a pearlescent, um, slightly pearlescent effect to it. Uh, but it's a really nice greyed out cream. Uh, but not too grey. It still looks creamy. It's like... Um, my winter white I suppose I think it's really pretty um, so I'm looking forward to trying that and then I got two from the Touring America collection um, slightly because I hadn't bought anything from it yet and I kind of like to get something from the collections um, but I'm a little bit disappointed with what I chose I got I like this one though this is Roadhouse Blues uh, it's a really deep purpley blue um, really like it and if you look at it against bobbing for baubles you can see how different they are um, quite different blues but I, I do like this one a lot but I got a tote the space needle which looking back at my collection this is a bit of an unnecessary purchase if I didn't have so many kind of nudie taupey tones I just um, it would be perfect but it's so similar to um, over the taupe and it sort of sits between over the taupe and you don't know Jack, but it's just really a shade different and you know no one's going to know so um yeah i didn't really need to get it it's slightly more green toned if you don't have anything like it this is a great one to get if you can't find the others um this is a really really good one but i didn't need it really then um before i get onto the glitters i bought the Avaplex um cuticle oil in the um, jar sort of bottle version um, I have the Avaplex to go which I really really love but it's a little bit messy because it's in a gel form and you do have to rub it in um, it doesn't just sink in whereas you can just paint this on and leave it and it will soak into your nails um, so I really like that I've been using this all week um, at night because my cuticles are so dry um, this, is, this is starting to help and then on to the good stuff so um, I did buy some of the glitters from OPI Muppets collection. I slightly bought them just to have them in my collection because I know I'm not going to get a massive amount of use out of them. However, um, they are so pretty um, and I didn't really know which ones to get so I just kind of got four that I liked. So I got Fresh Frog of Bel Air which is the green. Now I do have a slight problem with the, the silver bits in it. Um, I'm not a massive fan of having randomness on my nails so I don't know how I'm going to feel I haven't worn any of these yet I don't feel like I'm going to wear them on their own I think I'm going to be putting them over another colour you know another green or something like that um, so that I don't have to do like 20 coats of it but um, we'll see um, so I got Fresh Frog of Bel Air uh, Gone Gonzo which is the blue uh, then I think this is my favourite getting Miss Piggy with it which is the red so pretty really really bright uh, it's like really gorgeous pair of like um, you know Wizard of Oz type shoes Dorothy shoes I love it um, I just wish it had more maybe if the silver um, pieces were more because there are big red pieces in there if there was just more of the red ones I don't know and then um, I did get Rainbow Connection um, just because it was amazing I don't have the Deborah Lipman happy birthday or anything like that I thought this would look gorgeous over black um, and I'd probably just wear it at Christmas or something or on my toes or something like that but I felt like these were collectors ones so I, I um, that was one of the reasons for me getting them I haven't worn them yet but I will do when I do I'll put swatches on my blog and then finally and um, if anybody has watched my Outfit of the Day video or my looked at my blog from yesterday um, you'll notice that this is also what I'm wearing it's called Designer Do Better uh, and I did buy this on Thursday um, it's 
gorgeous. I do recommend this one a lot. It's, again, that sort of champagne kind of colour that I wanted to get in Presa Porta, but obviously they're, they're very, very different. But, again, it doesn't translate well on the computer screen, so if you're just looking at the bottle swatches, um, I do urge you to have a look at these in the shops if you can get to them, because they're so pretty, the shimmers. Um, and I'm really looking forward to wearing this sort of over like Christmas time and during the winter. I think it's really pretty. What's so different about it is that it has like orangey, goldy shimmer in in that kind of champagne base. Um, but it's it's one of these great polishes that you know two coats, really nice, dries really quickly because it's a metallic. Um, and yeah, I'm really enjoying wearing it. And it kind of spark it glows a bit, which is really nice. Um, it catches the light and it looks really pretty. So yeah, that's everything I've got. Um, I don't think there's anything coming up that I'm too excited about. The new API collections, uh, the Holland collection was announced this week and the Nicki Minaj stuff. So I'll link you to some links and stuff below if um, you haven't seen any of that. But yeah, um, anyway, I hope everyone's well and I will see you guys soon. Okay, bye.